Hey everybody, what's going on? Nick here from Droid Dog, and today we're going to be doing a review of Nova Launcher for Android. Now, Nova Launcher for Android is a home screen replacement launcher for devices with Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich or higher. So if you're on Android 2.3 or below, you can't get Nova Launcher. So Nova Launcher basically looks like stock Android, and you can do a little bit of customization, but it'll still remain fairly stock looking. Now, one of the things that I want to highlight in this is just how smooth Nova Launcher is. You can just flip through home screens, open your app drawer, and all that, and there's really no lag in it. It's really a very fast um, UI and launcher. But it's since this is a Motorola phone with ice cream sandwich, it doesn't look that different. But one of the things that I have been able to do is um, I was able to change the icons to look like the stock jelly bean icons which I personally like a lot better than Motorola's icons. Another thing is you can change the animations when an app opens. So say I want to open the Play Store, it'll open up like from the app icon itself instead of the usual old Android where it just kind of popped up out of the middle. Which, it's a small touch, but it looks good. I mean, you also have your persistent search bar at the top, and you can take that away if you want. I like it. Um, now this is the one that's running on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and this is still a beta version, so there might still be some bugs and quirks in the system that kind of have to be figured out and fixed and stuff before it actually comes out, but that's to be expected from a beta. Now, going into the app drawer, you can see I've changed the transparency of the background to show my wallpaper behind it instead of just being a stock black, which I personally think that looks better, but you can change it if you want. To get into widgets, normally in stock Android it would bring up a widget page that would look like a list of apps, but instead it brings up the old one from Android 2.2, 2.3, stuff like that, where you have to hold down on it to see what the name of the widget is and you don't get a preview. I personally don't like that, but it's your decision. Now if you go back, you can go into Nova settings where you can change some of the stuff. So, opens it up, got desktop where you can change um, search bar style, how many home screens, all that sorts of fun stuff. Drawer where you can change stuff in the app and widget drawer. There's the background transparency that I was talking about. Um, you'll see these little blue tabs here on the side sometimes. Those are for features that are only in Nova Launcher Prime, which I believe is $4. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's $4. Um, you can change stuff in the dock. The look and feel, this is where you can change color theme, the icon theme, screen orientation, scroll speed, speeds, all that good stuff. Gestures and buttons. Now this is in here, but most of the gestures, you have to have the prime version to use them, so it's kind of useless. Unread counts, that's prime only for a little thing like on iOS where it gives you a notification badge in the corner of the app icon. Backup and import, you can back up your layout that you have on here if you don't want to have to redo it every time you switch to a launcher. You can check for updates, select your default home, um, error and usage reporting, restart, Nova Launcher Prime, all the standard stuff. So my conclusion of Nova Launcher is that it's a really good home launcher and I think I'm going to keep using it just because it's very smooth, it looks like stock Android, and I really haven't found any of the bugs that I would expect to find in a beta. So I'm going to give it probably an 8.5 or 9 out of 10. Probably a 9 out of 10. It's just that good. So this has been Nick from Droid Dog. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, at Droid Dog on Twitter, Droid Dog Facebook, Droid Dog Google Plus, and then me personally on Twitter, at Zrycon15. I'll see you guys later. Bye.